unwrapping is one of the hardest things to do in any 3D application, not just for beginners, but for professionals too. It takes a lot of time and, and every model you make has to have unique UV maps, which means you can't create a preset of UV maps that you can just throw onto, onto a model and uh, reuse them over and over, like what you would do for textures or materials. Every model you create, you have to take some time to create UVs for that model. This can be time consuming and uh, without proper UVs, the textures don't look proper as well especially if you're going to export the model to a different application for texturing, like in Substance Painter. Substance Painter requires that you have uh, good UVs that are not overlapping and good UVs take a lot of time, at least if you're making them yourself. But now with this Unwrap Me add-on, you don't have to spend as much time on UV unwrapping. You can just use the add-on and, and it will create good UV maps for you. So let me just show you how the add-on works. Whether this is a paid add-on that you can try it for free as an option. And uh, if you go to the Blender Market page, I'll be leaving links in the description. You see that uh, you have the option, try it out for free. This link takes you to this GitHub page and I just have to download uh, this window version here, 7 MBs and, uh, and install it as any regular add-on. Uh, the installation process is very, very simple simple just download the add-on and go to edit preferences and uh, install it like an, a regular add-on all you have to do is just have an object and uh, go to edit mode and when you hit you you should see it added to the uv unwrapping menu here it's called unwrap me so let me bring in some object uh, let me use my asset library i'm just going to get something like, like this that has a lot of detail and looks complicated to uv unwrap uh, so if you're unwrapping something like this text would take a lot of time and uh, when i was creating the material for this i knew it was going to be too hard uh, to UV unwrap and uh, if i go to edit mode here you can see i don't really have any uvs just use object projection just to to escape the time consuming process of uv unwrapping but now with this add-on i can finally do create some proper uvs for this mesh so let's jump in here go to edit mode and again hit you unwrap you get this pie menu where you can do a few things now let me remove this material let me create a new material uh, that uh, can show us how this works properly and you can see because this mesh doesn't have any uvs we barely see any detail from this uv image we can go to edit and then hit you again and uh, then hit unwrap get this pie menu to create uvs uh, this simply creates uv seams and then that you can use to unwrap the object so i'm just going to hit the grow charts here and i'll get this menu you can use the default settings hit ok and depending on how dense your mesh is it may take a little bit of time but uh, you can see the uvs are that has, have been created if you look at uh, the uv editor we haven't really seen anything because this just generates uh, uv seams and uh, then you have to use u and hit the unwrap button and you can see the uvs look proper there isn't a lot of distortion you can hit u right click on the unwrap me operator to add these two quick shortcuts just access the unwrap me menu by by hitting q on my keyboard and then unwrap me you can increase or reduce the developability uh, option uh, to make smaller charts or smaller uv maps you can remove overlaps in case you have any overlapping uv maps and i can see it does a very good job uh, arranging rearranging our uv maps and uh, i can also come back here uh, and, uh, you can merge two charts if say i want to merge these two islands i can just select uh, this face and this and then q unwrap me and uh, there is this merge two islands option and uh, that should remove the seam between those and uh, those islands will be and will be merged but you still have to unwrap this again because this just adds or removes seams it doesn't actually do the unwrapping so i can even hit l to see what has been merged and you can see what we have and uh, maybe i can uh, merge these two so i can select this and this q unwrap and then merge the other charts again and then hit unwrap now you can see now we have an island that has been merged we can even try out a different object let me just get something see how this would work so you can see again this one doesn't have any uv maps uh, so let me bring back uh, the uv grid uh, you can see how distorted this is so i'm just going to come in here unwrap use unwrap me at this time let's use the load iterations hit ok and uh, you can see what we have now unwrap and i think that is great now i just need to make sure that i don't have any overlapping areas so i'll just hit unwrap me again and uh, remove uv chart overlaps and uh, that should remove any overlaps so you can see you can definitely get some good uvs without spending too much time on UV unwrapping.
If making your life easy is what you want, you're going to definitely love this physics-based vehicle rigging add-on, RBC, which you can use to create realistic physics-based vehicle rigs in Blender. With its intuitive interface and customization options, you will be able to quickly and easily set up your vehicle rigs to achieve the perfect behavior. You have advanced tuning options for, for precise control over your vehicle behavior, and it supports a wide range of vehicle types and configurations. You can also use drivers, keyboard, and gamepad controls to control your vehicle. It's hard to imagine a 3D artist who has not tried to create a scene with cars, so you definitely need this add-on. So give it a try and let me know what you think in the description. All links are going to be provided in the description as well.